John, not the most beautiful game to watch, but how big of a relief to, to, to get two points out of a game like this where you kind of had to gut it out? Yeah, it, it's a, it looked like a game of uh, two teams playing back-to-back. Um, I'll speak for my team. It just looked we didn't have uh, – I thought we tried. It just some guys, the energy level. It was pretty emotional last night as far as that game. And, um, you know, we always want them dead on and, and ready to go. But th- there's some physiology that goes with this as far as the emotion of it and, and what happened last night. But to scratch away and, uh, and get the two points and get them in the bank is very important. John, the play by Seth Jones at the end. First, the defensive play. Great stick. Great stick, yeah. And then he comes down and yep. makes, not afraid to make the cross ice pass yep. in, in that situation. Yeah, what, does it, a, what does it say about him? Yeah, he, uh, it, it's just a, it's a great play. It gets through him. If that gets through him, it's, the game's over the other way. Um, and you can, see, you can see what he's thinking even before he crosses the offensive blue line. He's going to get that puck to Nick. Uh, so it's a great play. Uh, again, we, it, it was a battle. It, it, that Philly team checked very well. It's a good team. They, they, it was a game of patience by both teams. Uh, we got fortunate on our goal. Uh, we were fortunate on uh, getting one of theirs called back. Not sure where that's going to go. Um, and found a way. That, I'm not going to dissect it. I, I, I can tell it was like getting blood out of a rock trying to get some guys just to give a little bit more. They were trying, but they didn't have much. And uh, uh, But to get it in the bank, it's very important. As a response to adversity, was there almost more value in this game being one that tested both teams in terms of the physiology and physicalness? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, we talked about playing on our toes. I thought we played on our toes as much as we could that w- with the energy that we had. I don't think we were tentative. Uh, uh, I don't. We we moved back by that game the other night uh, right away in the meeting. Quite honestly, the two periods in the prior game was probably two of our best periods. Um, but I, I'm I'm. Uh, it, it wasn't a great game by us. Uh, some good minutes, some uh, problems in certain situations, but they found a way to win a hockey game. That's very important at this stage, especially after losing a couple. John Philly ties it with 16 and a half seconds to go, and you had to be feeling a little sense of deja vu. What, what is was that the, the same difference? time as yeah, last night? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. What so the, it, this is happening for a reason. That's what I said last night. It's happening for a reason, and uh, I didn't realize it at the time until I came in and uh, JD and Yama were telling me it's the exact same time. Um, yeah, you know what? And Doobie, uh, Doobie turns it over, but if there's one guy on our team. Uh, that played his ass off, it was that guy, Doobie. I mean, he, he makes mistakes, and he's ugly at times. And, but that's the guy uh, in tonight's game gave everything he possibly could have. He, he, he did some really good things with his effort tonight. And um, yeah, so and I think he makes the right play. If he, puts it, if he gets some air underneath, he gets it on the boards, I think that's out of the end zone, the game's over. But it just went the other way. Bob wasn't great in Washington a couple nights back. Curtis struggled last night. You needed a good goaltender game tonight and got it. Agreed? Got it, yeah. Yeah, I I don't think there was much happening by either team the first two periods as far as chances. It's a tough game for both goalies because just not not a lot going on. Uh, and that's what we were talking about. And, and I never talked to the goalies during the game, but I'm sure he's thinking the same thing. He's got to stay in the game and if I can say it this way, not get bored. You, you, you know what I mean? And, and that's what I was telling our players. Don't get bored. There were whistles. It, it was sloppy a little bit. Not a lot of offense by either team. Um, yeah, so Bob Bob handled himself very well, made a couple of really key saves in the third period. One was a deflection. A um, couple of key saves there. It's unfortunate what happens at the end. I think our guys are trying to do everything, trying to block shots. We have layers everywhere. It just bounces, and uh, the guy bangs it in. Supposed to happen that way. We're supposed to win it in overtime tonight. John, you talk about the importance of the room sustaining itself, but it looked like just watching you guys on TV or on the scoreboard in between the third period and overtime. Did you guys say anything? It looked like the players were doing all the talking. No, there. we didn't. We didn't say anything. We all I said is we got one of the points. It's going to take us a little bit longer to get the second one, and uh, and the guys on the bench were good. Uh, um, they 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 weren't. Uh, 
tentative as far as the thinking you can tell before we even started the overtime because it just would happen. Uh, so yeah, so our, our guys have come a long way. No matter what our record is, no matter what happens with the winning and losing, I know our guys have improved on being pros. And uh, it's good to see because if, it, if the organization does take more steps in the right direction, that room has to be theirs. And they're beginning to take that over. Seth has shown a real propensity uh, after a rough night or a bad thing happening one day to come right back the next night with a big play. He did it early in the season with an overtime. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. What does that say about a, a young player yeah. where he's at mentally? Yeah, he, he's a, as I said, I, I've never, sometimes, just his personality, I think sometimes his personality showed up in the games last year where he was on some shifts and then a little bit lackadaisical at certain other shifts. Had problems starting games. Um, I think he's uh, really matured in he knows his role. Remember, he came from a team where he was the third pair, and, and, and it was force-fed to him right away when he came here the minutes he got. I think over the summer, I think he realized how important he is to this organization. And I look at him and Wenberg, uh, they have taken huge steps as far as accepting responsibility. That's the gut of your team, your defense and your center iceman. Um, so I, I think Jonesy's gone through the same mental process as when he has. He, he, he knows he needed to do more, and I think he's trying to carry people along with him.